Good morning, everyone. Um, so I thought it would be fun that for this portion of my vlog for today, since I'm not really doing much other than seeing my show, I thought I could kind of show you guys my process in getting ready to go out for the day and to uh, get dressed for a Broadway show, pretty much. Um, it's about 1130. So, I have to catch my train in about an hour, which means I need to leave soon. And luckily, it doesn't take me too long to get ready. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys my process and how I get ready. So, I figure that could be fun. A lot of times that I like doing, this is just a personal thing that I've been doing for a while. A lot of, uh, what I like doing is that I like kind of coordinating, so to speak, with, uh, I like coordinating my outfit with the Broadway show that I'm about to see. So, uh, examples that I've done, when I went to go see the musical Violet, I wore purple. Um, when I went to go see, uh, something rotten, I wore a yellow dress just because it kind of coordinated with the poster. Um, when I saw Spongebob, I wore yellow, um, also wore yellow. Last night at, um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, you can see all my Harry Potter gear right here. I wore a black dress and all my Hufflepuff stuff. So, you know, it's like, I, I kind of like coordinating. So, for today, I'm... Packed. I'm wearing a seeing Moulin Rouge, so naturally I have a red dress, so I'll be doing that. Um, and then just, uh, from, I'm going to be going off of that, so pretty much just going by the color red because it's Moulin Rouge. Okay, now that I'm in my dress, it's time to do, uh, hair and jewelry, because I don't wear makeup. So, I'll go into the bathroom. See, I don't really like wearing makeup. Um, just because I don't own makeup, so I don't really... I don't really wear it. I don't really see a point in wearing it. I don't really want to, like, put the time and effort into, like, putting it on. Also, I think I look fine without it, even though I'm very well aware that I have a few zits on my face, but that's fine. Um, so, I wear makeup for, like, super special occasions. Like, when my dad, I had to go with my dad to, like, business luncheons or something, and I went to a wedding in Spain last week. So, um, in that case, I wore makeup, obviously. But, um, yeah, I don't own makeup, all I do, so that's why I have fun with my hair, with whatever little I do do with it, and then my jewelry. I do wear jewelry on occasion. Um, so I have a lot of hair, and it gets tangled a lot, so I use Detangler. Um, I feel like a beauty vlogger right now, but I use Detangler just to kind of make brushing out my hair a bit easier because it's so thick and knotty. And then that way it's just... So, in case you didn't know, I did dye my hair a few, um, this summer, and you can kind of see the roots coming in, but I dyed it red, and it was like, it wasn't this bright, it wasn't like that red, but it was kind of like a nice burgundy, and it was more like an auburn, and my hair's getting really long, but yeah, so I just kind of, my hair can, on a good day, my hair can take 10 minutes, on a very bad day, um, I think the most I've ever spent on my hair, just brushing it, is probably 20 minutes if it's really bad. Sorry, mid-video, um, I realized, I decided that I wanted to put my hair up in a bun for today, and I realized I didn't have any hair ties, so I drove downstairs and got my spare hair ties. So anyway, I got those. So we're gonna brush out my hair. Um, I just washed it last night, so that looks like super smooth and really nice. Honestly, the detangler does wonders. So hopefully that time-lapse video comes up, but here's my hair, nice and done up in a bun. You can kind of uh, ugly in the mirror, but there it is. Just like a quick little simple bun, but I thought I'd be fancy today, so. That's essentially how I do my hair. And then I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick. I got a little cowlick, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick and then we're gonna go and do uh, my jewelry. So I just realized what time it is, so I'm gonna kinda do this quickly before I have to head out to the train station. But um, one thing that I always do for jewelry is I always wear my ring, in case you guys haven't noticed in my other videos. I always wear this ring no matter where I go. I have red earrings, which I'm probably gonna put on to go with my whole red theme. And um, one thing I always make sure I have with me when I see a show is some form of a jacket or cardigan. Because there was one time I saw a ballet with my grandmother and I didn't have a sweater and I was freezing. So, there's one thing I've learned 
being with my grandmother is to always make sure you have a jacket or a cardigan. I always make sure I do that now whenever I go see a show. <sighs> so I'm gonna do this and then I'll see you guys. Later. Okay, so I'm on the road so I can make my train. I was getting nervous about not being able to make my train. So now, yeah, I have time to make it now. So here I am, all dolled up and ready, hair up. I feel so elegant whenever I wear my hair up, so yay. Um, so yeah, I've got my earrings on, I've got my ring. Um, I have my red flats because apparently I'm going all red today with the exception of my jacket. Um, it's really nice out today. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll walk around Central Park or something after I'm done with my show since I'm seeing a matinee. I don't know. But, um, it's a beautiful day out, so I have no problem walking. And, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy myself. And I'm really excited to see Moulin Rouge. I saw the movie once. Like, 2012? I don't know. Um... I, I vaguely know what it's about, but I've heard good things about it, and I figured, like, you know, it, it's, it's, the movie's a classic, so if I had the option to see Moulin Rouge on stage, I'm gonna go see it, and Moulin Rouge was actually the last show that I booked for this week, I just booked it, like, two weeks ago, whereas all the other shows I bought, like, throughout the last few weeks over the summer, um, yeah, like, Harry Potter I booked back in June, I also got my uh, Oklahoma tickets, I think, sometime in June or July. Same thing with Beetlejuice. I think I bought Beetlejuice either in July or August. And then Moulin Rouge. Lightning Thief I just also bought, like, a few weeks ago. And, yeah, Moulin Rouge I literally just bought, like, maybe, like, last week or something. But, uh, I'm very excited because, you know, I, I had today free originally. And I was like, all right, do I want to see a show? I to see show, and I did. So yeah, I'm gonna go see Moulin Rouge tonight. I'm very excited. So really quick before the show starts, I just got here. My playbill's in color, which means all my playbills are gonna be in color this week. So yeah, I cannot believe how elaborate this stage is. And hang on, I'm gonna flip it around. Guys, I am in literal awe. Look how pretty this is. And the windmill is moving. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for this. I'm just looking now, and the walls are covered in satin curtains, so it's like we're inside a circus tent, guys. Also, like, mind you, I haven't seen the movie in, like, almost 10 years, so I low-key forget what it's about, but I'm still excited to see this. Alright, intermission, and uh, I wanted to get the stage behind me really quick, and sorry, it's really red. But uh, this show's really good so far. I kind of forgot it was a jukebox musical. Like, I knew, but I like, didn't realize how much of a jukebox musical it was. So, um, for those of you that don't know, a jukebox musical is when they take a whole bunch of songs that are already, like, current in pop culture, and there we go, normal color. And then they put it in a show. For example, Mamma Mia is songs all by ABBA. Um, I believe All Shook Up is songs by Elvis. You get the idea. And then, um, so, so far, really good. Here's the playbill now, proper coloring, proper lighting. So far, I really like it. I'm really enjoying it. And now I'm kind of remembering the storyline. And really good so far. And I'm going to go get a drink so I can get my collector souvenir cup that I always get. I realized I never did this after the show uh, because, well, A, it was raining. And D, D, oh my God. A, it was raining. And B, I was doing the stage door. Um, and yeah, it just kind of got crazy. And then I really had to pee. And anyway, my thoughts on Moulin Rouge. I barely remember the movie. I apparently only remember the first act because the entire second act, I had no memory of whatsoever. But anyway, it was really, yes, it was a jukebox musical. And I'm going to rephrase what a jukebox musical is because I realized my definition earlier can be a bit off. It's essentially where they use songs by other artists, so songs that have already been written and released, and they put them in a musical. So examples that I used are uh, Mamma Mia, um, are songs by ABBA. Uh, I'm pretty sure All Shook Up are songs entirely by Elvis. Um, and then one that was really popular very recently, I didn't see it, but another example is um, Head Over Heels, which I know was based off of songs by uh what you call it the go-go's i think so and then rock of ages is another one that's all rock songs from the 80s 
So, uh, Moulin Rouge is a jukebox musical. I'm pretty sure the movie is as well. Again, I haven't seen the movie in like eight, nine years. Um, so, I loved it. The set pieces were so elaborate and so intricate. And I haven't seen sets like that in a very long time. And I'm already predicting that for the Tony Awards next year, that Moulin Rouge is going to get best set design. Because if it doesn't, I don't know what's going to because... This was like top of the charts. I've never seen sets like this in a very long time. I think the last elaborate set I've seen was Wicked. And that's been out for like 15 years already. But anyway, the music was really good because, you know, they had like, you know, pop songs from like, you know, the 2000s and uh, 80s, 90s, today, like all that kind of stuff. And they had a little bit of everything. And they had songs that I knew were from the movie. They had that Elton John song, You Can Tell Everybody. So they had that one. I know that was in the movie. And then they had the Come What May, which I know was also from the movie. It was very good. Overall, very good. I was very satisfied with it. And I know they just announced that it's going on tour. If the tour comes to Orlando, I will definitely see it again. So um, I give this 10 out of 10, five stars. Really good. I really liked it. Very fun soundtrack. Uh, you can tell that all the actors are just having fun on stage singing. So that is my review of Moulin Rouge. I am, so I saw a matinee. It's still early evening. As you can see, it's like twilight because the sun's setting. I'm walking home because I was kind of in a lousy mood for whatever reason on the train and I'm trying to get out of it. So I figured walking back would be better for me mentally than waiting and sitting in an Uber. Um, also, it's slightly chilly up, but hey, that's why I brought my jacket. Hang on, I'm crossing the street. But, uh, yeah, so I'm walking home right now, and then I don't know what my plans are for the evening. They are still semi up in the air. So I still have to make more concrete plans. But anyway, that is my review on Moulin Rouge, the musical, and I highly recommend it if you have the chance to see it. And also, today's performance was sold out, so I'm really glad I bought my tickets when I did. So if you have the opportunity to see it, and if it doesn't sell out, go see it.